All right, now let's sort of go over the implementation. So I've got a little file here where I've copied over both the level class and the game class. Um, and just for ease of reading, since my handwriting is not terribly good, um, I will be typing out the implementation. You will be thankful for this if you ever saw my handwriting. But uh, yeah, remember on the AP test, however, you have to write out your answers. But cool, so um, we're implementing part A, which is get score. So um, the first thing that I like to do, um, just in general sometimes, if I don't know where to start, is writing out some pseudocode. So you're not quite jumping into the code yet, right? So um, for this get score method, what we want is we want to keep track of a total number of points. So at some point, we need to initialize a total, a total score variable, that, which that will will be adding on to as we go through our different levels, right? And then for our first level, we need to make sure that we've actually reached the goal for that level, and only then can we actually add the points that 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 we got for that level. So figure out if we reached the goal for level one um if we did add the points we got from level one right um if we didn't what that means is that we can basically stop looking at level two level three because there's this precondition that you can't earn points in level two if you didn't reach the goal in level one right so um it's only if we reach the goal that we can add those points, then we want to do the same thing basically for level two, right? So figure out if we reach the goal for level two. Um, if we did add the points we got from level two. And then surprise, surprise, we're doing we're gonna do that exact same thing for level three. Cool. You might be tempted to stop there, but remember that there is this concept of a bonus. So if the game is a bonus game, we should triple the total number of points that we've gotten from all three of our levels. So um, we're taking that total sum and multiplying by three. We're not taking each of the points and multiplying them by three or anything like that. So we have to do, we have to find that total sum first, and then we have to determine if the game is a bonus game. If it is, multiply the total score by three to get our final score. Um, and then, so remember that this function returns an int. So um, at, the, at the bottom, we put all this work into determining the score of the game, but we also have to still return it. Cool. So um, seems like we've covered everything that we would need to do in this problem in pseudocode. So let's go ahead and convert that from pseudocode to actual code, right? So initializing the total score, um, that's going to be an int because we're returning an int. Right, so int, um, let's call it score, and I'm going to set this equal to zero. The reason why I'm setting it equal to zero is recall that we had that situation where we didn't reach the goal for level one, so we didn't actually earn any points. Um, in that situation, we returned zero because we didn't earn any points. Makes sense to start it off at zero, so we finished our first line of pseudocode. The next thing we need to do is figure out if we reach the goal for level one. So this seems like a great candidate for an if statement. Um, so remember that we have these instant variables, level one, level two, and level three. So, um, and remember that we have methods within our level class. So what we're gonna want to do is call that method on level one. So level one dot, first of all, we have to figure out if we reach the goal. So we're gonna get the Boolean from goal reached. And since this returns a Boolean, either true or false, we can just inline it into our if statement like that. You could also pull it out, um, like level one goal reached equals level one dot goal reached. 
if you wanted. Um, for simplicity's sake, I just like inlining it. Um, so we have to figure out if we reach that goal. If we did, we want to add the points that we got from level one. So if we're inside of this if statement, we can assume that we did. So we're gonna say score plus equals level one. Then what's our function for getting the number of points? That would be this get points, get points, right? So what we're doing in this statement is the equivalent of score equals score plus level one dot get points. Uh, for simplicity's sake, again, I just like writing it like that. Cool. So we got our points from level one. Now, should I put the if statement for level two out here or should I put it in here? Think about that for a little bit to yourself. If you answered inside of this if statement, you would be 100% correct. And the reason why is because we don't want to check level two goal reached out here if we didn't already go into this level one if statement. If we didn't reach the goal for level one, we don't want to we don't want to add the points for level two. So yeah, this is all going to be nested inside of our level one if statement. So. Um, and grab that pseudocode, figure out if we reached the goal, if level two dot goal reached, then what we can do is, let's grab the rest of this. If we did, we can add the point we got from level two. So once again, we're just doing that same thing we did with level one, but now with the level two get points. Cool, move on to level three. Once again, we're gonna be having this inside of our if statement, um, inside of our level two if statement, which is inside of the level one if statement, because we have to have reached the goal for both level one and level two in order to get the points for level three, as well as, you know, reaching the goal for level three. So um, let's figure out if we reach the goal for level three, if level three dot goal reached, oh, goal reached, then add those points once again level three get points awesome that looks great that looks incredible okay so we might be tempted to return our score here but we remember that there is a concept of a bonus game so um we have to determine if the game is a bonus game so now we don't want to use instant variables level one through level three now we can actually call our own method within this class that we're in so when we use the keyword at this we're referring to the current instance of the game object that we're looking at so um once again we're going to do another if statement get rid of these lines we're gonna do another if statement because we have to determine if the game is a bonus game. So we can use this and then dot, and then we have to figure out which of these remaining functions might be good for figuring out if it's a bonus. If you said is bonus, you'd be ring, ring ding ding ding, 100%. Oh, is bonus, you'd be ring ding ding, absolutely correct. So um, if it is a bonus, we wanna multiply that total score by three. So new score times equals three which once again is the same thing as score equals score times three but i, don't know, I just like keeping it keeping it short and sweet <clears throat> if it's a bonus we're going to multiply that by three and then we can finally return our score and that is the implementation of our get score function so um you might be tempted to stop here and if you are tempted to stop here, I would advise you to rethink that. The reason why is it's 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 fairly common to, you know, sit back, look at a piece of code you wrote and be like, all right, that works, and then move on. And let's let's be real with ourselves. It does not always work, right? It doesn't always work the way you think it does. Um, sometimes you make little mistakes in the implementation. So the best case scenario here is to look at those situations, those game situations that the test has provided us with and run through, you know, one, two, three, four, as many as you need to be sure that your implementation actually works. For example, if we wanted to take a look at that first situation, um, we would go down the line. We would figure out if we reached the goal for level one. It seems like we did. So um, 
we're going to add score plus equals level one dot get points. So at this point, score equals zero plus 200, which is 200. Cool. Then we check if we reach the goal for level two. Yep, we did. So uh, we get the points for level two. We add that to our existing score. So score equals 200 plus 100, which is 300. And then we check if we reach the goal for level three. And whoa, we did. So we're going to say score equals 300 plus 500, which is 800. Um, and then we determine if it's a bonus game. Looks like it is. So we multiply that score. We multiply that score by three to get 2400. And then we return that total score. And wouldn't you know it, that matches up with the expected value. So um, that's just like the first situation they offer. I would implore you to try out one of the situations in which, you know, there's an early return or it's not a bonus game, right? So this was kind of the perfect scenario in which whoever was playing the game was, you know, really good at it. So they reached the goal for all three levels and it was a bonus round. If we get rid of all our pseudocode, this is what the implementation ends up looking like. So we've got that a bunch of nested if statements. We've got that bonus check and we are returning something. So yeah, this, this is get score.